It's Sunday afternoon and there's almost no one here. There's maybe five cars in the parking lot. This place in the fall, these aspens, is a tunnel of gold. Yeah. We're hoping for some kind of sunset, sunset landscape type photos, but it's, it's still early in the day. It's only about 5.30. So we're gonna wander around a little bit. Get a lay of land, you know, a nice summer walk. Hmm. down in the flowers <laughs> I might do you that do, uh, yes well, there's yellows what's... and whites there's so many pretty ones yeah. I'll get some close-ups I yes. might I don't know I might concentrate on flowers that might be a nice idea there's quite a few still left yeah, yeah. I was expecting pretty much everything to be all brown by now for sure yeah oh, the meadow's right over there let's go let's go check it out yeah yeah I think we got a pile of rock, big pile of rocks over here. I think on our way back out, if it's nice light, that might you know, might be a nice landscape. Okay. Nice, well, nice pile of rocks to photograph anyway. There are free range cows in here, so. Watch your step <laughs> for cow pies. Uh, if I lay down in the flowers, I'll be I'll be looking for that and like little cactus. You want to be careful. And of course, the usual uh, snakes and spiders or whatever. Not too many though. Oh, it's so pretty. Look. babies. The baby cows are just right there. Hello babies. Hi. There's so many pretty flowers already. I better get my camera out, but I'm glad I missed that cactus. No cow poo. All right. What should I, what should I use for flowers? I have just my studio camera, A7R3 with me. 17 to 28. Or I think I'm going to do 28 to 75. Steve's got the A7R4 with the 200 to 600 and I'll fit all the other lenses too because the thought is to do some landscape as the sun goes down but the flowers are gorgeous so I may as well kind of get my camera out now. What I'm looking at here is I've got this rocky peak back up here. And we've got a dead tree down here. We've got a couple of dead trees. I like dead trees. So I'm thinking maybe we can see if we can line one of those up nicely to, to do a nice uh, composition. Um, I prefer the one that's got a little bit more color in it, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna wander around here for a bit. Yeah. and kind of look at how I would compose this if we get good light at round sunset. And then we can go look at other areas and come back in time to get this if this isn't the best shot we see. Or if this is the best shot we see. Thumbs up. Yeah. So 
so I wandered off and photographed flowers and put some stuff back in the car. What do you get? Well, I've got several perspectives on one peak. Okay. Got the peaks, be a couple of rocks piles behind us here. That uh, mm -hmm. I was uh, back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, looking at looking at that. Uh, there were some nice clouds around it too, 30 minutes ago. Oh yeah, where's the clouds? Clouds are going away. Oh, there's a couple over there. So, um, yeah, there were some nice ones around the sun. I was hoping for some color tonight, but uh, we're going to be hoping for a golden hour, and that's about it, and on a clear sky. Yeah. Did you find some, uh, like, compositions you liked? Yep. I found okay. several compositions I think that'll work. Awesome. Um, okay. We'll see. I figure we've probably got about an hour before we're going to be at best light or getting into the golden hour. Okay, there's a bug hour, on the lens. Maybe two, maybe two hours. <laughs> two hours? Okay. Oh. Oops, excuse me. So. <laughs> but the bugs are coming out now. They, oh, gosh. Yeah, they are. But they're also fun to photograph. <laughs> okay, let's explore. Places with wildflowers have so many. It's almost like someone took a shaker can of seeds months ago. It's just cans and cans and buckets. There's so many wildflowers. Do you ever have those days where you go out on a photo shoot and you think you're going to photograph one thing and it turns out to be something else? Don't get me wrong, there's some beautiful landscape photography opportunities here, but I'm, I'm loving all the little flowers and the bees on them. Hey Steve, what you got going on here? Well, I'm all set up. I've got a composition squared away waiting for the light. So it's about 20 minutes to eight, quarter to eight. Um, hopefully in the next half hour, we'll get some decent light. Although with the smoke, I don't know. Kind of hazy. It's hazy. We lost our clouds. <laughs> the light's already looking kind of washed out. So I don't know, we'll see. Not a good night. So that you're, what you're zoned in on is that dead tree with the big rock formation in the, in the background. It, yes. Yeah. Okay. The light looks okay. It looked better about 10 minutes ago. So, oh. uh, yeah. Did you get any shots? Yeah, I got the shot as soon as I got set up for it. Okay. Yeah. And got some earlier test shots on my cell phone this earlier this afternoon. We'll see what happens. Ah, oh, mosquitoes. Ugh. Yeah, and the mosquitoes are coming out. Oh boy. Welcome to photography, <laughs> landscape style. <laughs> if we get this shot, if he gets this shot, we'll show you on the screen, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not unusual to have to keep coming back to the same place to get the right lighting, the right sky, etc. Luckily, we're only an hour away. Yep. This is a beautiful place. So we've got tree here, pile of rocks there. <laughs> yep. It would have been nice if some clouds were behind it, but those disappeared too. Dang it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Looks like you got your remote out. Yep, I don't want to jostle the camera. I've got uh, ISO 200, F11, one, one one hundred and twenty-fifth of a second exposure, and I just don't want to jostle the camera at this point. I'm also uh, doing bracketing, three tenths of a stop on either in either direction. Show the. So. Can you show them the little remote thing? That's this pretty is cool. A Dulin remote um, intervalometer. 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 Nice. Shutter. Yeah. So, so you can just sit over here and push the button and take a picture. Yep. Nice. Don't have to worry about jostling anything. I can sit more comfortably. Nice. Oh, there, you just took a picture. Nope, I just brought it up. There oh. <laughs> so. Nice. So we've got that piece there and the remote. Well, babe, we're out of light, we're out of water. We're out of patience for mosquitoes. <laughs> yep. Uh, kind of done. Yeah, call on it quits for the night, I think. Yep, it's about 8.30 almost, so yep. light's, light's pretty much done. Sun's behind the mountains. Yep. So we're about done. I had fun photographing the flowers. Yeah, an amazing number of flowers around still. I did not expect I was surprised. That. Yeah. I was saying I never stopped to photograph flowers for some reason, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, there were so many and it was, the light was perfect. So for me, it was a win to photograph all the flowers. <laughs> you got your dead tree. I got a dead tree. Nice. Yep. Got, a, got some flowers of my own. Ground yeah. squirrel. Yeah. Um, so. Bees. Bees. Yeah. Yep. I think it was a, a nice evening outing here at one of our favorite locations. Yep. We'll come back here uh, maybe in the fall and maybe the winter. Yeah, in the fall, we've got, the, there's some nice aspen yeah. uh, located around here. So we could get some nice fall pictures. Yeah, we should plan on that. Yeah. yeah. We didn't come up last year because there was massive wildfire. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen this year. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's it for today. Yep. And uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, see you for now. Bye. Bye.